what is it you enjoy the most about it? Because you, uh, you don't pick stocks, you pick companies. Yeah, that's exactly. But when I, was, when I was 11, I picked stocks. I had the whole wrong idea. I, uh, I was interested in watching stocks and I thought stocks were things that went up and down and I charted them. I read books on technical analysis. I read I, I read Edwards and McGee. I think that was the classic then. I'm hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pages. And I read that whole thing over and over again. I read Garfield, Ruud, Alasset. I read everything. And I thought the first eight years, I thought the important thing was to pr predict what a stock would do and predict the stock market. And then I read Ben Graham, you know, when I was 19 or 20. And I realized that I was doing it exactly the wrong way, and but it didn't hurt that I had that background and everything. And I rejiggered my mind, and when I read the book, The Intelligent Investor, and from that point, I never bought another stock. I bought businesses that happened to be publicly traded, but I became an owner of a business, and I did not, I did not care whether a stock went up or down the next day or the next week or the next month or the next year. And I didn't have any idea what it would do. I didn't know what the stock market would do, but I knew businesses. I knew something. I've asked people about your genius, whatever we describe I, it. I mean, I'm a bright guy who's terribly interested in what he does. So I've spent a, a lifetime doing it. I've surrounded my pe myself with people that bring out the best in me. And you don't need to be a genius in what I do. That's the good thing about it. If I went into physics and a whole lot of other subjects, I'd be an also ran. But I am in a game. You probably need 120 points of IQ, you know. But you but 170 doesn't do any better than 120. It may do worse, probably do worse, but you don't really need brains. What you, do you need? You need the right orientation. You know, 90% of the people, I'm pulling the figure out of the air, but 90% of the people that buy stocks don't think of them the right way. They think about something that they hope goes up next week. <laughs> and they think about the market as something they hope goes up. And if it's down, they feel worse. I feel better. And what do you think about? I think about what the company's going to be worth 10 or 20 years from now. And I hope it goes down when I buy it because I'll buy more. Do you have, you have a competitive spirit, clearly? Yeah. Clearly. Well, but you gotta, be, you gotta be careful about what you compete in. It's a good thing I don't have a competitive spirit in chess or, you know, you know, or football or anything like that. No, no, I just, I'm, I'm, I'm an observer there. I, I enjoy watching things like that. But I, I try to keep my competitive spirit in a game where I can win. Do you have a killer instinct? Nah, not exactly. I, I've got, I wouldn't call it a killer instinct, but well, I, do, I do know this. When I want to do something, I always want to do it big. What does that I mean? put my whole net worth in city service preferred. You know, <laughs> one hundred twenty dollars, one hundred fourteen dollars and seventy five right. cents. <laughs> and, and I put my whole net worth in, in, and I've never, I have never had less than eighty percent of my money in American business. You can call them stocks or but equities, I, but I see them as American business. I, I've owned a piece of American business for. for Eight, at least 80% at all times. In, you know, I, I just, I don't want to own anything else. I, I want to own a home and you know, things my family wants and all that. But owning five homes doesn't mean anything to me because I'm, I'm going to be happy in one home and, and there's a certain amount of things that go wrong with everything. And I, if I got two homes, I've, I know I've got more problems and I don't have more happiness. 